Hi guys, in this video we will try to draw a prism using AutoCAD 2007. So the prism will basically look like this. This is a pentagonal prism which is having both the upper face and bottom face as same that is base and top are same shape that is pentagon shape and all these are all faces. This one is first face, second face, third face, fourth face, fifth face and above is top face and below is bottom face and whatever the lines are visible these are all called as edges so the, those are the things available in the prism as you can see top and bottom both are same so this is one orientation if supposingly this prism instead of standing if it is mounted on a wall it looks something like this the prism base is attached to the wall and it is hanging away like this like a cantilever so this is some basic it can be like it is slanting position or it can be in another position inclined to one plane inclined to both planes also can be possible so let us try to see the basic types of prisms so say some pentagonal prism say so there is this question draw a pentagonal prism of base 30 mm edge and axis 80 mm which is resting with its base on horizontal plane so since this is on horizontal plane when you are coming to the AutoCAD, what we will do is that we will select the top plane first. Then we will select the polygon. As usual, it will ask number of sides. Here we are trying to draw pentagon. So I am selecting 5. So 5, enter. After that, I don't want to go with uh, inscribing or excribing. For that sake, what I will do is that I will select E, enter. Then I am specifying the first point. And second point I want it to be straight therefore I am pressing ortho and uh, as given in the question the edge is of how much uh, base edge is of 30 mm so here I am writing 30 and press enter so this is a pentagonal plane which is created on a top plane in the top plane I have created the pentagonal plane now if this is extruded by using this command extrude command in the modeling toolbar I am clicking on extrude then the axis height can be included here the axis height is somewhat 80 here so axis height is 80 so I have selected it and I am pressing 80 and press enter so now whatever the plane is there in the top plane I have drawn a uh, polygon that is pentagon now that is extruded and it is created into a three dimensional figure so if you want to see the isometric view it will be something like this so this is a pentagonal prism which is created by using just two commands first one is polygon command and second one is extrude command only those two commands i have used in pentagonal prism is created here supposingly i want to give the dimensions to this then what i will do i'll go to the top plane in this i can give the dimension of the side so therefore i'm using aligned dimension and from here to here I am selecting it and I am giving the aligned dimension. Here I can't give the axis height. Therefore I am going to the front plane. And here I am giving the axis height. From here to here the axis height is some ATM. Even now I can go to the uh, southwest isometric view and see. But here you see the uh, dimension has come a little far. For that sake what I am doing is that I am selecting it. I am using move command. I am using move command. And... Uh, moving it from this point to this point then zooming it a little bit so you can see if you want you can go for the layout also if you want you can go for the layout here also i'll double press here and zoom it as per our requirement and if i want to give the names for it annotations for it annotations can be give, uh, done uh, in this position in the model position or in the layout position if you do it in the layout uh, there is a possibility that um, the A, B, C, D is whatever we are giving will be in a straight way. If you are giving in the modeling, there might be uh, as per the plane which you are selecting. If you are selecting in top plane, they will look like they are in the top plane. As you can see, this 80 and 30 both are inclined. This is a little bit inclined because I have given it in a different planes. And I am looking it in a different plane. So for that sake, what I will do is that I will come here and I will double click outside so that I am coming out of it. And if you want to take a printout of it in A4, then what I can do is that select file, plot. So here ISO A4, I want to go for ISO A4 size, 297 by 210 mm size I want to go. Then I am pressing on apply to layout 
and again I'll press cancel. Now you can see the sheet is confined to a A4 type of shape. After that I'll uh, redefine the internal uh, features which is there for printing availability. Then uh, in this position whatever whatever the internal position is there in this position if I draw if I keep anything those will be coming perfectly in the printout. So that is the reason we have kept these things like this. Once this is finished, I'll double click outside. Then I'll use empty enter, multi text enter. I can give it like this. 2.5 is there. Let us see if the height will be sufficient or not. If not, we can change. So I've given it is not sufficient in this case. So I'm selecting it and I'm giving some 5 here. Okay, it will be sufficient to me. Okay. So this one I'm keeping it here. Then I can use copy command and uh, by using uh, copy command I can give all this A, B, C, D, E. Similarly in the bottom plane 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Uh, see we can't give A, A dash, B, B dash, C, C dash because these are all the things which are already available on the object. So therefore we have to give capital letters and we have to give different things. In, if you are giving in the top plane, if you are giving A, B, C, D, E, in the bottom plane, we will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or vice versa. We can give in the reverse manner also. So this is a question. If the edge, whatever the base is there is resting on its horizontal plane. So that is about the first question which we are going to discuss in this way. So there might be an option or there might be a question that something like there is a prism with base something and axis something which is resting with its base on vertical plane. Instead of standing on a vertical plane, what is he saying is that it is hanging to a vertical plane. It is hanging to a vertical plane or it is attached. This base is attached to a vertical plane, something like a hanger. So for that sake, what we will do, we will select a new file, new and see it here. So instead of selecting the top view, what we will do is that we will go to the front view because the question is that the hexagonal prism is with its base on vertical plane. So I am selecting the front view first. I am selecting the front view first and then selecting the polygon. And since hexagon I am drawing, I want to have six sides here. So six enter, then E enter, then first point is this and I will select ortho button and uh, what is the dimension he has given? It is 40 mm. So I will select 40 like this and press enter. So here the polygon is created, Z enter, E enter, so that it is visible to us. So this polygon is created on front plane, that is on the, uh, say supposingly on the wall, there we have drawn this polygon. Now this polygon, whatever the hexagon is there, it should be extruded such that this will become a three dimensional. If you want, you can see in the three dimensional view, see it is a plane, just a plane. Now this should be extruded. So I am coming back to the front plane and I am showing it here. Now I am selecting extrude command and selecting this object and press enter. And this is extended how much? Axis length is 100 mm. So come back to hand this and 100 mm I am giving 100 and. So now we come to the Northwest isometric entry. So you can see this particular thing is attached to a wall or the vertical plane. That means base is on vertical plane and it is hanging like this. So here also the concept is same. If you want to give the dimensioning, we'll go to the top plane. Here we can give the dimensioning axis dimension can be given like this. Similarly, you can come to the top plane, uh, front plane. In the front plane, you can give the dimensioning of this uh, 40 mm. So this 40 mm line can be given dimension. So whatever is required, you'll give. Whatever is uh, not required, you'll not necessary to give. Here you can see it is coming a little far, so select it, move it option. So from this point to from this point, I'll move it so that the dimensioning is done perfectly. If you want, you can give the annotation here itself. If not, I'll go to the layout. Everything is okay. I'll check the paper size once again. Plot the paper is changed, so I'll come back to the ANSI ISO A4297 by 210. Apply to layout, cancel. Then uh, I'll readjust it and as usual what I have done in the first diagram, I'll do the same thing here also. I'll give the annotations A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, I'll write it here somewhere here. Uh, if, you want to, if you want to give the question numbers, what we can do, you can select some circle like this. You can give a circle like this and write the question number there. 
or if you want to write the details of it i'll write the details i'll select a text command and i'll write it here it is a hexagonal prism with its base resting on a vertical plane this is what i can write it here so this is how you finish the diagram uh, when the question is given like this raw hexagonal prism of base 40 mm edge and axis 100 mm which is resting with its base on vertical plane similarly there is a possibility that they might give us a question that the axis is inclined to horizontal plane axis is inclined to horizontal plane and axis is inclined to vertical plane those may be also the questions so supposingly draw a prism with its base as a square of edge of 35 mm and axis 100 mm its base is touching horizontal plane and its axis is inclined to horizontal plane so first what we will do is that since uh, its base is touching horizontal plane what I will do is that I will think that it is on horizontal plane and draw like it is in a horizontal plane. So file, new sheet, I am going and opening it. Okay. So since I want to draw it in the top plane, I will select the top plane and I uh, will <coughs> draw a square. Polygon number of sides is 4 and uh, enter. So I don't want to center, so E enter. So first edge point is this and uh, second edge point is as per the question it is uh, 35 mm so it comes 35 mm so here we have drawn a square z enter e enter here we have drawn a square now i'm using extrude option select this extrude option and press enter how much the axis height is given as 100 mm so axis height is 100 mm so now this is basically the square prism which is resting with its base on horizontal plane but as per the question it is touching horizontal plane and axis is inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal plane. So come back to this point. So here, if there is a center, uh, supposingly, if there is a midpoint here on the uh, above top face and a midpoint there in the below bottom face, so the line attaching these two is inclined at 40, 45 degrees, right? Yes, 45 degrees to the horizontal plane in the bottom plane, whatever it is there. So uh, axis will be somewhere here. So let us do one thing. I'll see if the axis uh, is looking to me in the top plane. You see in the top plane, is the axis visible? No, it will be somewhere here like a dot because we are seeing from the top. So come to the front view. Is it visible? It might be visible if you are drawing a straight line here. So it since this line and this line will also be parallel. If I tilt this line or this thing, if I tilt it, so select it and use rotate option. And at this point, if I rotate with 45 degrees like this, automatically the axis line also will be tilted to 45 degrees. So that means this can be the diagram, uh, this can be the position of the question, uh, whatever the given question is there. That is inclined at 45 degrees to horizontal plane. Yes, inclined at 45 degrees. If you want, you can check it also. I will give the straight line like this and I can, I can even check it with the angular dimension. So, Anyhow, uh, let us come to the isometric. So this is the isometric view. It's a little clumsy. It is not understanding to me. For that sake, what I will do, I will go to the conceptual view and I will look at it. Okay, it is good. It is looking good. So that is the view which we are going to draw. So I have drawn a square prism, thinking that it is on the horizontal plane. After that, I have uh, checked for the axis in which direction it is showing. It is showing in the top view or front view. Once it is fixed, then I am tilting it as per the given question that is 45 mm degrees. Similarly, it can give instead of horizontal plane, it can be something like into uh, inclined at 30 degrees to vertical plane itself. So, we will try to do this. So, draw a pentagonal prism of base 3500. So, let us draw another diagram. File, new sheet, open. So, select a uh, uh, before selecting it, I have to see it is vertical plane. Since it is vertical plane, I have to select front view. So front view, I am selecting it. Then I am going for polygon. And number of sides is 5. Enter. And E, enter. And first point is this. And second point is 25 mm. So 25 and 75. So, so although I am pressing it, like this is 25 mm. Press enter. So Z, enter, E, enter. This is the uh, plane which is on the vertical plane. Once this is finished, I am using the extrude option and selecting this object and extruding it to 75 mm which is given in the question. So if you see the isometric view, so this particular thing is inclined, uh, sorry, it is having its base on the vertical plane 
and uh, it is having an axis of 75 and edge size of the base is 25 each so this is basically the half of the question is finished the second half is what axis is inclined at 30 degrees to vertical line. so axis should be inclined here so let us see again in this question we'll see the top view we'll see the front view in the front view is there the possibility of axis visibility no if there is also if it is visible also it will be looking like a small dot for that case what we should do we should go to the top view in this case and axis will be somewhere in the between so i'll select this rotate option i'll select this object and press enter from this point i want to rotate it with how much degrees as per the question it is 30 degrees as per the question it is 30 degrees so i'll, I'll, I'll rotate it i'll select this uh, rotate option i'll select the object and press enter at this point it is 30 degrees so 30 degrees tilted it is now come to the isometric view and see this is the object which is to be drawn as per the given question it is a pentagonal prism of base edge 25 and 75 mm axis and uh, base is touching vertical plane and its axis is 30 degrees inclined to the vertical plane so you come back to the isometric view this is the isometric view if you want you can go for the conceptual view also so this is how the diagram looks like so that is about this thing even in this case also the concept is same if you want to give the dimensioning to anything what we'll do we'll go for the wireframe we'll come to the top view in this whatever the visible dimensions are there i'll give it there so here the the angle is visible the dimensioning is visible of the axis dimension is visible and uh, uh, say something like this if a straight line is there like this so between this and this the angle is there so that angle this angle is there how much angle is there i can uh, give it right so angle can be given and uh, come to the front view in the front view i have uh, this dimension so i can come back here i can give the dimensioning from here to here we'll give it so whatever is feasible to me i'll give it in the front view and top view then whatever is finished i'll come to the isometric view and uh, i'll select it adjust them perfectly and then i'll go to the layout and after coming to the layout I'll... but uh, uh, when you're talking about basic questions they might not talk you about these uh, inclinations they might stop you at these two positions only that is draw pentagonal uh, draw a prism with its base resting on horizontal plane and draw a prism with its base resting on vertical plane these are the very basic questions which can be asked in the many examinations if if you want if they want to give a little twist in the question they might add this inclinations also so that is about uh, the pen, uh, the prism so how to draw a prism in autocad is in four different ways is explained here bye